What's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Spike back with another video. I already moved past something that's gonna give my glory. Thanks, guys, for me being allowed me to do what I do. Now, man, this is my first sit down talk video. And listen, I'm gonna be telling y'all about five things that I think my young basketball players need to stop doing or either need to start doing. I know a lot of y'all play basketball and most of y'all are young. Most of y'all are in high school or even younger than that. Now, before we get into the video, I do want y'all to understand that I don't know everything about basketball. I'm just speaking I'm just speaking on personal experience and my opinion. So if you disagree, just let me know down in the comment section and we can just talk about it. But anyways, let's go and hop into it. Number one on the list, stop comparing yourself to other people. I cannot stress this enough. Not everybody has it the same. Everybody progressed differently and everybody comes from different backgrounds. Some people got to get it out the mud. They got to work a little bit harder and some already got it. Some are spoon fed. Some have uh, mothers and fathers that played at the next level. So they get to experience different things that you don't get to experience. Not everybody gets to play for the best EYBL teams. So be it. All right. I'm not trying to hear that no more. You are not at a disadvantage just because somebody was was in a different position that you are at your age. I'm telling you, if you just stay consistent and work hard, doors will open for you. So do not use that as an excuse no more. All right. I want y'all to understand that some of the greatest players to ever play this game came from those unfortunate circumstances those sad circumstances and they use those times to fuel them to build character to build discipline and to be the best that they could be if it wasn't for those times they would not have gotten to where they are because most people that have everything that get everything that are spoiled they don't know how to react when things don't go their way so take advantage of where you are right now build character all right, build discipline and do not use that as an excuse on, uh, of why you're not at the next level, bruh. That's not it. Number two on the list is pretty simple. Stop wasting your time. Y'all have to understand that if you're in junior high, high school, elementary, etc., this is the most freedom that you're ever going to have, okay? Take time to build skill. You don't have that much responsibility. All right. When you come home from school, you finish your work, you, you take care of your, of your of your responsibilities and priorities. Please pick up the basketball, go dribble somewhere, go work on your shot, go to the gym, go exercise. Stop wasting your time because I tell you, it will come a certain point in your life that you're going to look back and just wish that you took advantage of all those opportunities and all those hours that you had to do something great. All right, I know a lot of y'all, you know, 2K, you know, I said I make 2K content, you feel me? That's what I do. Um, but you have to you have to know how to balance your time. All right. You can have fun, play the game and do that. But if it's taken away from your your evolution as a basketball player, you might want to hold off and, and, and focus on, on what's going to get you to the next level. You want to give yourself the best opportunity to play at the next level. And hey, man, getting a basketball scholarship. You allow yourself to go to college for free. Now, you know, I know a lot of people got a lot of mixed reactions when it comes to college. So listen, if you go go, you might as well go for free. All right. You can't really complain with that. And I'm sure that your parents will love that as well. All right. The third thing on the list, prioritize the small things. And when I talk about small things, I'm not just talking about on the court. I'm talking about off the court. Small things will consist of just waking up every day, making your bed. You know what I'm saying? Brushing your teeth, cause I don't want some of y'all on there. I don't know if y'all doing that. But going to class, making sure you make it to class on time. Um, bringing the pencil to class. Like I don't know why I was one of those. And now looking back, how come I didn't have a pencil and paper every day for class? You feel me? Like small stuff like that will help you in the long run because it's going to build that discipline it's going to build that character listen we all have big dreams but it's going to small off with achieving the small things all right take the trash out if your mama tell you to take the she should have to tell you 50 times just take the trash out wash the dishes do the laundry wash your dirty drawers and when you on the court set the screen okay learn how to run the lanes box out Stop cheating yourself in the weight room. 
when you're running doing conditioning drills touch the baseline okay i know some of y'all when coach not watching i was a victim of i used to do it too okay i used to do it too coach not watching you don't run all the way to the baseline listen you're taken away from your potential and what you could be conquer the small things okay prioritize doing the small things every day and that's going to help you in the long run achieving those big goals number four on the list goes hand in hand with number three it's your mentality slash attitude all right do you have that killer will do you have that assassin are you going to dive on the floor for loose balls are you going to be that person to call your teammates higher when you see them not doing what they're supposed to do are you going to accept the fact that you're not going to be right all the time are you going to be coachable that attitude will help you in so many areas it's going to help you build team chemistry when you when you know how to talk to your teammates when you know how certain teammates respond to different things it's going to help you build that relationship with your coach it's going to help you get on the floor because a coach knows that he can trust you to keep your temper all right when things are not going right when you're facing adversity how are you reacting are you flustered are you staying composed i'm telling y'all right now guys that know how to keep their composure stay cool calm and collected are those that are feared the most you see guys like Kawhi, and you see guys like dame that no matter what's going on no matter what the score is they always stay locked in you cannot tell what's going on if you just look at their face now with that it will allow you to stay focus and do what you need to do to accomplish whatever goal you have set in mind we have all these uh, uh we have all these emotions flowing and stuff like that it will kind of take away from your success and the success of the team all right now another thing don't get too caught up in, in being so prideful all right you're gonna you don't want to put a cap on your potential just because of your mindset if you know that there's opportunities and ways for you to grow and get better do that do not stay one dimensional what's bringing me to my last and final point expand your skill set do not wait all right a lot of y'all are not gonna be five six forever and a lot of y'all are not gonna be six foot you're probably gonna get taller some of y'all you might you might stay at the same height but the competition is going to get better each and every year the higher you go high school middle, middle school high school college you see guys that when they were young they were always the tallest on their team so they stayed in the paint they never did dribbling drills they always had their back towards the basket and next thing you know 5'11 is not tall enough when you get to a certain level okay you might be 5'11 your whole childhood but once you reach that certain point everybody starts to pass you up you have then captured potential because you did not expand your skill set if you a guard work on getting into the post they got guards right now that's starting to learn how to play in the post. You know, my favorite player, CP3, he can't play out the post a little bit. He has proven that throughout his career. But listen, when you allow yourself to be able to grow and play different positions, you won't put a cap on your potential. And that way, when you make it at the next level, it'll just be positionless basketball for you because you could play wherever, whenever. All right. So that's the last thing I have on the list. There's more things that I want to cover, but as far as this video, that's all I got to say right now. But hey, man, like I always say, man, continue to keep God for your life in the mail. You're going through the mail. You've been through, man. Y'all boys keep grinding. I know y'all going to get to that next level. I got some dogs. I got some dogs. Subscribe to me. So, hey, man, let me know what y'all think about this video. If y'all have any more questions, y'all can hit me up on Instagram at Spike underscore underscore. Without further ado, man, it's your boy Spike signing out. And we out. Yeah.